Hey ladies, this is Stormy Hair here. I'm doing a hair, vitamin, and skin products review. These are just some more of the products that I use often and that I would recommend for everyone to at least try at some given point. Um, I would like to first thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that very much. The first product is, of course, the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. As everyone else knows, or at least some people know, it works wonderful. It's, it's a good staple for natural hair, in my opinion. The kind that I use is very thick and rich. It's creamy. I hear a lot of people say that it's thin and watery, but I don't get that from that product. Um, that's pretty much it on that. It's a pretty good product to use. If you're just starting out with the natural hair care, start with that Cantu Shea Butter, or at least some form of Shea Butter. Roots of nature the other product with is organic the shea, shea butter and organic green tea. Um, it's a line of products to soothe scalp and fortify hair to help promote strong growing hair. It restores hair and scalp's moisture balance, boosting hair's resistance to breakage and split ends, and helping to protect hair from heat styling damage. It also works with the conjunction of the shea butter green tea stimulating scalp oil. This oil moisturizes and soothes scalp's tightness, leaving scalp feeling refreshed. You have to massage it into the hair and scalp to increase the microcirculation. And that's where that little top comes from. You just go directly to the hairline and you, and you pour it on. This is a really good bottle. I'm going to use this bottle for my own oil when I run out. But I recommend them both, especially after you wash your hair and it's Friday and you don't plan on doing anything over the weekend and you just want to put the two products on and um, put on the scarf or put in a ponytail, pull it back, twist it up, plait it up, break, whatever you want to do with it. I recommend these two products um, if you just don't feel the Cantu Shea Butter experience. Again, you have the Roots of Nature Remedies, Shea Butter Green Tea, Strengthening Oil Moisturizer, and Stimulating Scalp Oil. I recommend them both. The next thing that we have is the Skincare Products Review. Um, not really a review, just showing you what other oils I use. Um, I use them in skincare products such as lotions, and then I also use them in hair care products, and you'll see me do that from time to time. We've got the avocado, the grapeseed, we've got a oval oil, I've got a couple of bottles of those, can't have enough of that. We've got the uh, sweet almond oil, I've got some walnut oil, um, and I haven't used that yet. It's a pretty big bottle. I've got it refrigerated. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that for food or for oil. Um, so I'm going to have to do a little research on the walnut oil. But that's something that I have. If anyone has already used it, let me know what you use it for and how well it works. Um, there's also the tea tree oil. This is a pretty strong smelling product, so I use that sparingly. I almost blinded myself putting it on my face because someone said it was good for acne but I used it full strength instead of watering it down. Do not do that. I almost blinded myself. That was definitely a weird moment. Anyway, um, I recommend these oils, especially on their own. They are a very good skin product to use if you just want to use the oil. Um, but again, I do mix those with lotions, um, all kinds of products. Any product that I use, basically there is some type of oil that's going to go in it. My skin and hair loves oil. The next thing I want to talk about thing is going that to I will be internal. discussing is going to be for your internal care. This is going to be for my blend of vitamins and herbs that I use on a routine basis. The first thing is the acai berry, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. It looks like acai. It could be acai, achy, whatever. Um, I call it AB for short. It's from Certified Organic Acai. Some studies show that the acai fruit pulp has a very high antioxidant capacity with even more antioxidant content than cranberry, raspberry, blackberry, strawberry, or blueberry. Studies are ongoing though and the jury is still out. Studies show that acai oil may be a safe alternative also to other tropical oils used in beauty products such as facial and body creams, anti-aging skin therapies, shampoos and conditioners. When acai oil is processed and stored long term, the antioxidant levels remain high. Cayenne is a medicinal and nutritional herb. 
it is a very high source of vitamins A and C, has the complete B complexes, and is very rich in organic calcium and potassium, which is one of the reasons it is good for the heart. Garlic has been used as a anti-cholesterol herb. It also can reduce lipids. It is said that it can dissolve the plaques from the coronary arteries. Garlic is regarded as one of the most effective remedies to lower blood pressure. Hair requires certain trace elements, minerals, and vitamins to maintain its texture and thickness. Some people lack this because their hair becomes thin and unmanageable. If your hair is dull, nails cracking, skin dry, flaky, there may be a problem with nutrition and you may want to add a hair, skin, and nose vitamin. Um, it's got vitamin C, E, which are also uh, powerful antioxidants. Um, it's good um, at supporting good scalp circulation. It combats free radicals. Um, just a number of things that you need to maintain healthy hair and skin. Biotin, collagen, all of that. If you don't take anything else, I definitely recommend that vitamin or at least a multivitamin, which has most of those ingredients anyway. Also make a mention that, you know, the free radical damage, it can lead to premature aging of the skin and affect the hair and nails as well. The B complex again is also very important for your body. Biotin, gelatin, enzymes, all of that is um, something that you should definitely uh, use in your daily routine or at least every other day. I don't recommend taking any vitamin or any pill every day. I just say go by what your body needs and what you're used to and what effects your body shows from the, the normal use of that particular product. The Super Papaya Plex is a chewable supplement. It's a digestive enzyme. This one is also a breath freshener, but that's just an added benefit. It's a 100% natural ingredient. It contains small amounts of enzymes known to digest protein, starch, or a carbohydrate fat and it assists in the breakdown of vegetable matter and fiber. It's really good if you have a slow metabolism. There are three common types of omega-3 fatty acids that are used by the human body. They provide a crucial nutrient that the human body cannot manufacture on its own. They help lower cholesterol, fight joint inflammation, and prevent heart disease. Omega-3s do not solidify as readily as do the types of fats found in red meat, for instance. Fish oil supplement capsules are slightly less effective than regular fish, like salmon, for instance, but if you don't favor seafood, they may be the best way to get the recommended 1-2 to two grams of fish oil a day. What are the symptoms of omega-3 deficiency? Most Americans don't get enough omega-3, but severe deficiency in this essential oil can result in fatigue, constipation, joint pain, dry skin, and brittle nails. And I have to tell you that I use it often. You take two a day, I believe, and it works wonderful. You will definitely see a difference in the way your digestive system moves and your heart feels. I'm serious. This oil, if you like a lot. Along with these other products, I wanted to make a mention of soaps that I use. I use peppermint soap, which is an exfoliating botanical soap. I use an oatmeal based soap, which is also exfoliating and creamy and all the good things that oatmeal brings. And then the goat's milk soap, which kind of reminds you, I guess, of a shea butter soap. Pretty good product. Okay, guys, thanks again for tuning in to look at my reviews. I do have a horrible cold, so forgive me if I stumbled. Um, I'll be bringing some other things to you. I'll also start doing some hair care videos. I've been working on some things, as I said before, on some uh, new ways to take care of the hair that I think works for me. So stay tuned to that. You might find some interesting things that I found during this hair care journey. So thanks again, guys. Bye.